Well, I think a lot of this is just indicative of the popularity of Bitcoin as an asset class. It's, it's now the world's most popular investment asset. It's novel, it's digital, it's global, it's unique, and it's uncorrelated to traditional risk assets because it doesn't come with exposure to any given country, currency, company, quarterly result, product cycle, competitor, not to weather, not to war, not to an employee base or supply chain. And so that makes it a natural addition to the portfolio of a responsible investor. Michael Saylor, the founder and executive chairman of MicroStrategy, has praised the ongoing Bitcoin rally, citing it as evidence of the cryptocurrency's growing popularity among institutional investors. In a recent CNBC interview, Saylor noted that institutional investors have eagerly awaited the opportunity to directly invest in Bitcoin for years. He highlighted the significance of the SEC's approval of BlackRock's and 10 other Bitcoin ETF applications, describing it as opening a floodgate of potential investments worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Consequently, Saylor anticipates a surge of investments into Bitcoin. According to Saylor, Bitcoin's demand now exceeds the norm by tenfold, driving prices higher. He predicts that prices will continue to climb, particularly after the 2024 halving event, which is expected to create a significant supply shock. During the CNBC interview, Saylor also discussed MicroStrategy's decision to rebrand as a Bitcoin development company. He explained that this rebranding reflects the success the software company has achieved by adopting Bitcoin as a treasury asset. Before we continue with the rest of the video, do check out daily 5-minute crypto newsletter with all the latest crypto and Bitcoin news. It's a fantastic analysis of on-chain crypto data and breakdowns, and the best part is it's absolutely free. They'll cover expert predictions, breakdowns of on-chain crypto data, and any breaking news you need to know, all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description and enter your email to join over 50,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. There's 10 years of pent up demand. People have been waiting for these ETFs. And, and finally, uh, mainstream investors are able to access Bitcoin. And I think that's what's driving the surge of capital in the asset class. And initially, there was a rebalancing as people were moving capital between the futures market and the miners and microstrategy and the ETFs. But Following that rebalancing, I think uh, the uh, the assets found its footing, and now people are beginning to realize that there's 10 times as much demand for Bitcoin coming in through these ETFs as there is supply coming from the natural sellers, who are the miners. You rebranded the company, or announced the rebranding of the company, as a Bitcoin development company. What does that mean? Well, it's a natural decision for us, given the success of our Bitcoin strategy and our unique status as the world's largest public company holder of Bitcoin. MicroStrategy is an operating company that can actively manage its capital structure and its business operations with more flexibility than an investment trust, which is what these spot ETFs are. So we're going to develop software. We're going to generate cash flow. We're going to leverage the capital markets, all in order to accumulate more Bitcoin for our shareholders and also to promote the growth of the Bitcoin network. Given the fact that the majority of enterprise value is now based upon those Bitcoin related activities, it makes sense for us to call ourselves a Bitcoin development company in the same way as you see a real estate development company or a petroleum development company. Well, we're going through a transition from on premises to cloud. And AI is a really big driver of that transition. So there's a lot of enthusiasm for our new AI offering, and we built it into the cloud offering, just as, just as you can see people excited about Microsoft's co-pilot AI offering and driving their revenues. We think that uh, our AI offering is also going to drive an acceleration of migration from on-premise to the, the cloud, and over time it'll allow us to continue to grow the business. Well, you know, we're fortunate to be able to manage our capital structure actively and in a creative way. So sometimes we look to equity markets when that's the best way to acquire Bitcoin. But we've also done converts and we can we continue to look at the convert market. We can refinance debt. We've refinanced our debt in the past and, and retired debt before. So we may issue debt. We may retire or refinance debt. We also are looking at uh, potential preferred equity issuances or, or anything else that might be accretive to our shareholders. Uh, we try to be uh, open-minded, prudent, thoughtful, and opportunistic as these opportunities present. MicroStrategy's Bitcoin journey commenced in August 2020 when the company announced its adoption of Bitcoin as its primary treasury reserve asset. Their initial Bitcoin purchase amounted to approximately $250 million. Today, the Bitcoin development company holds 190,000 Bitcoin acquired at an average price of $31,250 per coin, 
totaling nearly $6 billion. Despite this substantial investment, MicroStrategy shows no signs of slowing down. Beyond being a Bitcoin investor, the company is actively involved in Bitcoin development, launching initiatives to support the growth and adoption of the Bitcoin network and ecosystem. These include events like MicroStrategy World, a virtual event for organizations, and the renowned Bitcoin for Corporations online course, which educates executives and entrepreneurs on buying, storing, and utilizing Bitcoin as part of their corporate strategy. In a recent interview with Fox News, popular Bitcoin investor and YouTube personality Anthony Pompliano expressed bullish sentiments about Bitcoin and Bitcoin ETFs. Pompliano predicts that Bitcoin will reach new all-time highs in 2024. Here are some excerpts from the interview. The alarm's good for Bitcoiners. If you think about what's oh, happening okay. right here, uh, Wall Street's getting an intelligence test. If you paid attention in Economics 101, you're going to pass this test. There is hundreds of millions of dollars per day flowing into these Bitcoin ETFs, and there is only about 40 to $45 million of net new Bitcoin being produced. So there's 12 and a half times more demand than there is supply being created every single day. If there's that much demand and that little supply, the price has got to go up to accommodate everyone. And so my guess is that we're about to see Bitcoin continue to grind up over the next couple of weeks. Well, the Bitcoin's not being held back, right? I mean, right. it was at 47 and went down to 40,000 because everyone was dumping GBTC. Now all of a sudden we're back to 50,000. I think 50,000 is a psychological level as well. People get really excited. They say, hey, we're going back towards all time highs. And as soon as Bitcoiners start saying it, somehow it usually happens. <laughs> it does, right? Now you say you've got the next big bet. Share that with us. Yeah, so if you look at what happened with the Bitcoin ETF, right? Bitcoin is an asset. It's now been accepted within Wall Street, and now people want to get access. And so we have these Bitcoin ETF issuers. I think that the next big run of equities is going to end up being in altcoin ETFs. And what I mean by that is forget which coin or which protocol, but the altcoin ETF issuers, I think, are going to have a great run over the next two years. I've made three bets here. I invested in Bitwise. I invested in a company called 21 Shares. And then the only publicly traded company is something called DeFi Technologies. And all three of these, they basically want to give people exposure to assets. They don't care which one you pick. They just want to make sure that it's easier for you to put money into this ecosystem in this industry. And I think all three will do well. The beauty of Bitcoin is that it's a decentralized organization. There is no CEO, there's no board of directors, and there is no marketing team. But price is the marketing campaign. And as the price goes up, more people talk about it. We're talking about it here today. More investors start to pay attention. They put capital in. It has this positive, reflexive uh, kind of mechanism, which will drive the price higher and higher, which gets more people talking about it. And that's what leads to the outperformance. So what's the all-time high? The all-time high is $69,000. The most entertaining the outcome of a course is exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so, but you think we'll at least test that this year, maybe? I think that we'll go to a new all-time high before the end of the year, especially if we continue to see hundreds of millions of dollars flowing into these ETFs every year. Senior Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balkunas has unveiled another significant milestone for Bitcoin ETFs. In a recent post, he revealed that the nine newly launched ETFs and Grayscale's GBTC have collectively amassed over $3 billion in net cumulative flows. This achievement surpasses a milestone that took the GLD ETF almost two years to reach. Balkan has shared the news via Twitter, highlighting the exponential growth in net cumulative flows for the 10 Bitcoin ETFs, doubling in just the past three days. Moreover, these ETFs are rapidly climbing the ranks in year-to-date flows among thousands of ETFs, marking a historic moment for Bitcoin and the broader cryptocurrency space. Despite the unprecedented levels of inflows seen by these ETFs in just one month, experts anticipate further growth. The ongoing process of institutions embracing Bitcoin, known as being orange-pilled, is expected to drive continued demand and subsequently higher prices for Bitcoin. This development underscores the significance of Bitcoin's growing institutional adoption and its implications for the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Share your thoughts on Sailor's and Pompliano's interviews, as well as the latest Bitcoin ETF milestone shared by Balconis. Feel free to drop your comments and observations in the comments section below. For more Daily Dose Crypto News, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.